something new in online learning from Mrs. Ward Smith and Roblox. Welcome back to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. With us is the CEO of Mrs. Ward Smith, Pierre Lagrange. Hi, Pierre. Hi, Fred. How are you today? Terrific. Well, for people who aren't familiar with Mrs. Ward Smith, tell us a little bit about the background and the mission there. So Mrs. Wordsmith um, was founded uh, probably four or five years ago already. And uh, it really, um, and achieved that, it really aimed at revolutionize the way that kids learn how to read and the literacy uh, that uh, kids. Um, and it did that by really finding a way to produce engaging uh, material. So engaging characters, making the kids laugh and making the kid play. And uh, the result were bestsellers on Amazon, books that um, still to this date, even some of the books that are out of print are used by teachers in the UK and US uh, to teach English because the kids have fun. And as every parent or grandparent know, um, having a kid engaged in the learning process is half of the battle won. Right, the approach that you take is different to, to, to make it fun and engage kids with books and, and games too, right? Yes, so uh, in the initial uh, life of the company, we started by a great decision, which is reach out to Craig Kelman from California, who designed the characters of Madagascar and Hotel Transylvania and a couple of these uh, blockbusters that kids love. And um, having these characters leading the kids on the learning journey in books, and then in uh, card games, card games kind of inspired by Crazy Eight, uh, where you you have that further thing than in books, where you've got an engagement because of a competition um, and uh, an interaction with another person, which is usually an adult, which is essential to uh, uh, better learning. And, and now we, um, under the new ownership, which uh, I started a year ago, a bit more than a year ago. Um, we are developing into the video game, which is the next step in terms of uh, a, a positive play to learn approach uh, for literacy. Well, I think you do have an app out there now, but you're also forging a partnership with, with Roblox, bringing Mrs. Ward Smith into that world. Tell me about it. Yes. Uh, I've been watching as an investor the phenomenal uh, uh, endeavor of Roblox, which, by the way, it's a business that's already is more than a decade old. I mean, most people have learned about Roblox the last few years, but it's been there for quite a long time. And what they've developed is an extraordinary um, ecosystem where kids love to play. And... Um, Mrs. Wordsmith's mission is really to provide kids with literacy, aiming at bridging the learning gap, aiming at giving access to kids uh, who usually may not have parents at home available or uh, and this sort of thing. So therefore, for us, that Roblox recognize we've got something special and ask us to join on the platform to developing games is phenomenal because we can apply and reach the, to the Roblox audience um, millions of kids who then can have the Mrs. Wordsmiths approach to, uh, to learning. And this is going to arrive next year? Yes, um, it's going to arrive in a year's time. Um, tell, tell us what's going into the creation then. What's going on now to, to, to build Mrs. Wordsmith into Roblox? So it's, it's a very good question. And, and it's also one of the reasons why Roblox um, came to us is because um, many people, and you hear that word gamification of education, um, and many people have approached that by putting a game veneer on an education material. And the kids are smart. They see for what it is. You know, if it quacks like a duck, 
looks like a duck it's probably a duck and kids get bored when they see that we've tried to disguise a homework into a game and so roblox wanted to have people who have already been moving on from there and there's no word yet you are seeing edifying of gaming but that's not really a word that's taken sort of uh grip in the world but it's basically you start with a game and uh, you don't start with your occasion you start with a game that you develop to engage a child and as you engage a child you produce the game where the game is the learning so it's the play that's the learn and therefore you have to embed the pedagogy into the game to make it successful on both accounts the child wants to play and the child is learning and he's learning because he has to learn in order to play and that's a game philosophy but you need the agency on the education side and very few people who have the agency on the gaming side have got the agency on the education side and we have had if you take you know studies that were done by the national literary trust uh, literacy trust in England uh, on some of the books we had, they've been proven to increase the um, the learning by fifty percent. So you can see that we've got authority in literacy, in learning how to read, in vocabulary acquisition, in a series of bestsellers, in books which are praised by uh, parents, by teachers. So therefore. We know what to do from an education point of view. We also have game studios that we've got in Denmark, which are really good. So therefore for Roblox, we're one of the very few people who have got the expertise in both gaming and education. That sounds terrific. So it's going to arrive next year. In the meantime, people can still find the books and tell us a little bit about the, the game that you have available on mobile now. Well, we've got one game that's available, uh, which just loaned, which is a vocabulary acquisition game. And, uh, and the reason why we did that is that vocabulary is the orphan in the curriculum. Vocabulary is the most important thing for reading and comprehension. If you don't have the right level of vocabulary by grade five, you are unlikely to finish high school. And yet, because there's so much pressure on the time in school. It's left to reading and it's left to really doing at home or relying with the grandparents like you to basically take the kids on a reading journey. Most parents don't have the time to do that because they work too hard. So therefore vocabulary is really left behind and it's dramatic in its consequences. So therefore we thought, let's really have something that Kids can learn words. Per, pes, you, o. Endless or enduring forever. Does, men. The vocabulary situation is such that the research has been proven for a long time already that if you don't know five words on a page, you basically will struggle in your, um, in your reading. And so therefore, if you give the power of words to the kids, you give him the ability to read and excel and go to the next level. That's what we are also gonna develop with Roblox, which is give the kids the power of words. And the other game that we've got coming in six months time um, is a game where we take the card game to another level and together with other mini games, we are producing a game to learn how to read for the four years old, where we actually make phonics fun. And as you know, um, having grandkids, phonics can be really dry and difficult for the kid to engage with. And it takes years to really go through you know, the phonemes and the graphemes. And so therefore having a game format, video game format where the kid is engaged and wants to learn phonics like we've seen in the blah, blah, blah card game. That's what we're all about.
So that's what we're working on. And the, the app, the game that's out there now that people can look for is called Word Tag. Word Tag, yes. Kids can have fun with that. And there's a lot more to, to learn about what you're doing at your website, which is mrswordsmith.com. So Pierre Lagrange, thank you so much for taking time with us and congratulations on the innovation. And we are certainly looking forward to what's to come, especially with the combination with Roblox. Thank you, Fred. 